Welcome to the IntelliLearn video library, calculations involving infusion rates in drops a minute with a drop factor of 20 drops per mil. Examples, part one. The formula to calculate the infusion rate in drops per minute to deliver to the patient if the drop factor is 20 drops per mil is the volume of IV fluid that the patient must receive, expressed in mils, divided by the time over which the infusion must run. This is called the rate and will be expressed in hours or minutes. In this example, we will consider a time of hours, multiplied by the drop factor divided by 60 minutes per hour. Let's now replace each of these quantities with our actual values by reading the IV fluid order. The volume of IV fluid to infuse can be read directly from the IV fluid order. In this case, it is 1000 mils. The time over which the infusion should run is also written on the IV fluid order in the field called rate. In this case, it is eight hours. The drop factor is printed on the packaging the infusion line comes in. In this case, it is 20 drops per mil. If you consider the second fraction, 20 over 60 will cancel to 1 over 3. The units of mils will cancel, and so will the units of hours. Multiplying by 1 over 3 is the same as dividing by 3. This means that if the drop factor is 20 drops per mil, you can divide by 3 instead of multiplying by 20 over 60. To perform the calculation with a calculator, enter 1000 divided by 8 multiplied by 20 divided by 60 and then press equals. The calculator will display an answer of 41 point with many 6s and then a 7. This must be rounded to the closest whole number. To do this, look at the first digit after the decimal point, which in this case is a 6, and ignore all other digits after this. This digit is larger than 5, and so the previous digit, the 1, turns into a 2, and the remainder of the digits after this are dropped. The infusion rate should be set to 42 drops per minute. As an alternative way of performing this calculation, if you go back to the formula at the beginning, you could have divided by 3 instead of having multiplied by 20 over 60. On your calculator, you would enter 1000 divided by 8 divided by 3 and then press equals. The calculator will display the same answer, which, rounded to a whole number, is 42 drops per minute. To perform the calculation without a calculator, start by cancelling 1000 over 8. This can be done by dividing both numbers by 8, giving 125 over 1. 20 over 60 will cancel by dividing both numbers by 20, giving 1 over 3. The units of mils cancel and the units of hours cancel, leaving a final unit of drops per minute. Multiplying across gives 125 over 3, which is 125 divided by 3, which is 42 drops per minute when rounded to the closest whole number.